Bloodshed. Brothers and sisters, it's been a few days that I hear bloodshed. Bloodshed is coming for the house of God. Unbelief will be punished. Those who will remain alive and made captive in other countries will remember all these warnings from Father and will loathe themselves for their evil and their wicked conduct. Those who claim to be the sons and daughters of God and yet continue to live a life of sin, who claim to know the Lord but don't make any effort to deepen their relationship with Him, those who read His word leisurely and can be bothered to seek His truths and much less follow them, they will be judged very harshly for not practicing what it says. Brothers and sisters, this evening, September 3rd, 2022, I am being sent to read to you this important prophecy that concerns the times of the end. Father has sent many messengers out trumpeting his words and warnings and asked us to prepare. Some have taken this to heart and have faithfully prepared themselves physically, emotionally, spiritually, and mentally. These are the wise virgins who have purchased the oil for their lamps. Father has also sent many signs to alert us that things are greatly escalating. Flooding, drought, diseases, death, wars, increase in food and utility prices. There is grumbling and praying that Father would remove these storms. Hope that things will come down. But people continue to indulge in revelry, idolatry, deliberate disobedience to Father. What would extra time accomplish? I hear Father saying, None shall be given. We must brace ourselves for what is now at hand. I am being sent to read to you Ezekiel 7. Hear it as if it was your first time. Ponder on it. Take it to heart. Repent and draw near the Lord. This is a time of fasting of wearing sackcloth and ashes, of wailing and mourning. Please take heed. I pray that Father softens the hearts of the listeners and that we'd be about his business till he returns. I keep hearing bloodshed. Judgment is coming for the house of God first, for all those who own a Bible and yet do not heed its teachings for those who call themselves children of God, but act in an ungodly manner, displaying sinful lifestyles instead of the nature of Christ. They've lost track of what it means to be a follower of Christ. Lord, have mercy. Confirmation Verses, Ezekiel 5.17 I will send famine and wild beasts against you, and they will leave you childless. Plague and bloodshed will sweep through you, and I will bring the sword against you. I, the Lord, have spoken. Ezekiel 7.23 Prepare chains, for the land is full of bloodshed, and the city is full of violence. Ezekiel 9.9 9. He answered me, The sin of the people of Israel and Judah is exceedingly great. The land is full of bloodshed, and the city is full of injustice. They say, The Lord has forsaken the land. The Lord does not see. Second Chronicles 19, 9 In every case that comes before you from your people who live in the cities, whether bloodshed or other concerns of the law, commands, decrees, or regulations, you are to warn them not to sin against the Lord. Otherwise, His wrath will come on you and your people. Do this, and you will not sin. Ezekiel 7 Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Also, thou son of man, thus saith the Lord God unto the land of Israel, An end, the end is come upon the four corners of the land. Now is the time 
come upon thee, and I will send mine anger upon thee, and will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense upon thee all thine abominations. And mine eye shall not spare thee, neither will I have pity, but I will recompense thy ways upon thee, and thine abominations shall be in the midst of thee, and he shall know that I am the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God, An evil, and only evil, behold, is come. An end is come, the end is come. It watcheth for thee, behold, it is come. The morning is come unto thee, O thou that dwellest in the land. The time is come, the day of trouble is near, and not the sounding again of the mountains. Now will I surely pour out my fury upon thee, and accomplish mine anger upon thee, and I will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense thee for all thine abominations. And mine eye shall not spare, neither will I have pity. I will recompense thee according to thy ways, and thine abominations that are in the midst of thee. And he shall know that I am the Lord that smiteth. Behold the day, behold, it is come. The morning is gone forth, the rod had blossomed, pride had budded. Violence is risen up in a rod of wickedness. None of them shall remain, nor of their multitude, nor of any of theirs, neither shall there be wailing for them. The time is come, the day draweth near. Let not the buyer rejoice, nor the seller mourn, for wrath is upon all the multitude thereof. For the seller shall not return to that which is sold, although they were yet alive, for the vision is touching the whole multitude thereof, which shall not return, neither shall any strengthen himself in the iniquity of his life. They have blown the trumpet, even to make all ready, but none goeth to the battle, for my wrath is upon all the multitude thereof. The sword is without, and the pestilence and the famine within. He that is in the field shall die with the sword, and he that is in the city, famine and pestilence shall devour him. But they that escape of them shall escape, and shall be on the mountains like doves of the valleys, all of them mourning, every one for his iniquity. All hands shall be feeble, and all knees shall be weak as water. They shall also gird themselves with sackcloth, and horror shall cover them, and shame shall be upon all faces, and boldness shall come, and boldness upon all their heads. They shall cast their silver in the streets, and their gold shall be removed. Their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of the Lord. They shall not satisfy their souls, neither fill their bowels, because it is the stumbling block of their iniquity. As for the beauty of this ornament, of his ornament, he set it in majesty. But they made the images of their abominations and of their detestable things therein. Therefore have I set it far from them. And I will give it into the hands of the strangers for a prey, and to the wicked of the earth for a spoil, and they shall pollute it. My face will I turn also from them, and they shall pollute my secret place, for the robbers shall enter into it and defile it. Make a chain, for the land is full of bloody crimes, and the city is full of violence. Wherefore I will bring the worst of the heathen, and they shall possess their houses. I will also make the pomp of the strong to cease, and their holy places shall be defiled. Destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. 
Mischief shall come upon mischief, and rumor shall be upon rumor. Then shall they seek a vision of the prophet, but the law shall perish from the priest, and counsel from the ancients. The king shall mourn, and the prince shall be clothed with desolation, and the hands of the people of the land shall be troubled. I will do unto them after their way, and according to their deserts will I judge them, and they shall know that I am the Lord.